Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and it is huge. I got all kinds of fun stuff and I thought I would share it with you today. Like every, excuse me, every Tuesday. So let's get started. First, and this is in no particular order because I just got a mess over here. I got some books. Finally, my store got in some new ones. This is from Deborah Wolf, The Dragon's Legacy. And finally, I found the first book in a trilogy. I hate buying like the second and third because sometimes I can't find the other ones, blah, blah. But this is the first book. It looks like it's a trilogy. This one was written in 2017. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to read that. And then the other book I picked up was Slow and Slow, It's a Barbecue, The Art of Barbecue, Smoke, Roasting, and Basic Curing. I think I'll give this to my cousin. He's really into barbecue. And then he can cook for me. So I grabbed that for Eric. So I thought that would be perfect for him. He's a good grill guy. Um, for outside, I grabbed this. It's a citronella candle. You light it and it burns and it's on a uh, bamboo so you can stick it in the ground or in like a planter or something for your patio, for outside, and it's for mosquitoes, so citronella. So I thought that was fun. So I grabbed one of those. That'll get me through this summer. Okay. Ooh. That's glass. Oh, look what I found. It's a ceramic camera. I mean, it's like glass. They had a couple, but um, yeah, I need this. And this is gonna go on my tiered tray for summertime. I could add color to it, but I think I'm gonna like it in just the plain white. Um, there's a hole in the bottom. It's not like a bank or anything, but it is uh, designed on the all the way around. And like I said, there was a couple different ones, but I like that one. And then the other glass item I got is this, which has a bunch of gold leaves on it. They had some with like fern fronds, but this was the one I liked. And it is a little te more teal than blue, but I'm okay with that. And this will go behind me if I don't break it. This will go behind me this summer. I could put a candle in here if I want or just set it up but I love it. But definitely take a good look at them. Some of them were scratched up. So I found one that was still in its plastic and I think that protects the gold. So I'll leave it in there. It could also go in my tiered tray if I was feeling like fancy. I picked up this for the dog treats and it says, you had me at woof. And it's in the pet section, just a treat holder. I liked it because the lid goes on tight and I already put treats in it. I had Luna over the weekend, so I just put some of her chews and stuff. And now she has her own container. So when I grab the boys, their treats out of their container, she also has one. And I'm hoping it'll keep her treats, um, you know, fresher for her. And then some other boring, although I don't know. This is LA's Totally Awesome, and it's the sh Daily Shower Cleaner. This looks just like Method brand, and I love the Method brand. I just wish I could read the ingredient list, but I don't see one. Um, it's not all natural, I can tell you that, but I think it'll be good for mildew and stuff or soap scum. And I like the LA's awesome or to LA totally awesome products. So I grabbed this because I'm out of my shower cleaner. And this is stuff you just spray it and let it sit. And then typically what I'll do in the morning um, while I'm showering is rinse off my walls every once in a while. But this just, you spray it and you can just leave it to work. So we're gonna try that because I was, I ran out of my other stuff. I found some mug stickers. These are decorative stickers. Um, they show it on a mug. You know, I don't know if it's permanent or if you just stick it on there and it peels off. I don't know. And it doesn't say. 
Um, it looks like this came from Greenbrier International. So I think it came, this is from Canada. And it just, and it is in English and French on the back. So yeah, you get a sticker sheet and it says, world's greatest person, the world needs people like you, eat, drink, burp, repeat. So I thought that was super cute. I just grabbed one, we'll see. I don't know if it'll stick to glass or not. Who knows, guys? Oh, I found one more vase. I love this. I love the detail. I saw it in pink and blue, but I preferred the clear. A couple things I was thinking. One, you could glue a um, one of the clear glass cutting boards and make a cake stand out of this for decorating. You can make tiered trays by grabbing a couple of these. It's pretty short and wide, which is what I like about it. But I think it's going to go somewhere with some flowers in it this summer or some greenery maybe. And I like that it's just clear, but it also has that texture to it. You could paint these as well. I've done that a lot. Paint it like white or whatever color. And then if you seal it with like a glaze, it will keep it from scratching off or chipping off or whatever. But I like the clear. So we'll see. It could also fit in my tiered tray with some stuff in it. It's small enough for that. I grabbed two packs of these and these are a two pack. And watch your cashier because mine tried to charge me for each one. But I love the shape and I needed more storage for pens and pencils and I got the mint green for my office. Now you could also put makeup brushes in here or make up kitchen drawer stack them next to each other put your silverware they're a nice shape and they're nice and square so you don't get like that rounded loss and they also don't have the huge holes on the side where everything will fall out so i like these this brand i've seen in there before it is crystalline stylish multi-purpose and they had all different colors and uh, shapes at my store. So I grabbed two of those because I don't have a lot of that size. But then I also grabbed, and this comes in a three pack, but I think I'm going to use one for my makeup brushes, one for pens and pencils, and I don't know what the other one will be for. But these come in th three, and they are um, I don't know, they're all tied together. Oh yeah, they're tied together. Here they are with a zip tie, and that's how you know they all come as one set. But the guy was like, ding, ding, ding. I'm like, that's a three pack. And he said, oh, ding, 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 and went the other way. So yeah, and this is the same brand, and look at that, well, maybe. <gasps> this is not an easy peel. Oh gosh. So we know what's gonna happen with the third one. I won't be able to get the label off. Rude. Okay, we'll worry about that later. But makeup brushes and pens and pencils on my desk. And these also will stack within each other, which is always nice too, because you could probably fit three in here and do that. So I thought that was really fun. I could have went a little crazy, but it wasn't necessary, Lori. All right, we got more bags over here. I got all kinds of stuff, guys. Oh, I got some of this Dermasil, which I like. Moisturizing body wash in sweet cherry. Mm, it's got a very strong scent. I hope it works like the Aveeno Moisture Wash, which is my favorite for summertime. And honestly, I like putting it in bubble baths because it helps moisturize my skin. I'll do like Epsom salt and then some of this and I'll just soak in the tub and it makes my skin feel so good. So that's probably what this will end up in the bathroom in my basement where I have the big soaker tub. So we'll see how that works out. It looks to be the same consistency. It smells really good too. So yeah, we're gonna try that and see if it is an, comparable to um, the Aveeno. Then I found some file folders and you get three of them, which is a great deal, but I just liked the pattern and I'm gonna use these, put a hole punch in them and use them to hold my embroidery floss when I am doing cross stitch. 
So, and this is a nice thick construction paper or cardstock, and I have a hole punch that I can use. So that's what I'm gonna do with this, and I just loved the pattern. But they're great for file folders too, but like I said, I don't need file folders. They're not as thick as like, let's say a manila folder, which is why a hole punch, a hole punch will work. But I also like that they come offset already with the um, tabs. So if you want to put them in your drawer, the tabs are offset so you can label what they are and then you can get multiple sets. They had all different prints of these and they work out fabulous if you have that type of a setup. I just don't, my stuff that I would store like this, like taxes and things, I'll go into a firebox like a, and a pen to flex file folder. So, but I loved this pattern, especially for summer. I just think that's fantastic. Maybe I don't have as much stuff as I thought. Irrelevant. I found a cake tray. It is a cake plate. But what I find interesting is on the front, they're showing it as a stand, but it's not. But you could totally get a one of these plastic like bowls and invert it and make it higher levels. I love that when I'm entertaining and maybe one day I'll get to have people over again. And I love putting food out on different levels on my table and these would be fabulous for that. I only grabbed one because I don't have any plans but I just wanted to have it on hand and I wanted to show you that I found this at my Dollar Tree and they're great. And it is the size of an eight inch cake if you're making cakes. I could also hot glue something like this for display and then peel the hot glue off and it wouldn't ruin my vase. Well, that's a little trick if you don't wanna make it permanent, just use hot glue. We got that, right? I picked up a tarp. These tarps are great. I'm gonna actually cut this to fit under my tent. When I go backpacking, I don't have a, a footprint it's called. And what it does is you put it under the bottom of your tent, but it needs to be the same size or a little smaller than the floor of your tent. And it protects the, the bottom of your tent from rocks or sticks while you're rolling around and sleeping in there from cutting through your tent. It'll puncture this before it punctures your tent. And these are lightweight, which works for me. And it's very similar in size to the tent that I will be bringing. So what I'll do, I need to set my tent up and seam seal it. And what that is, is you take some silicone sealer on the places that were um, stitched to keep the water from getting in if I were to be stuck in rain. And while I'm doing that, I am also getting a chemical, it's called permethrin. And I spray it on my hiking clothes, on my tent, on my backpack, any fabric or porous material. And it is a tick repellent and it's good for six washes or six weeks and then you you respray everything so what i'll do is lay it all out in my yard i will spray the tent down i will seal it and i will also measure at the same time and cut this footprint and then this will just get folded up and stuffed in with my tent so when i go backpacking i will be protected also this would be great when you're camping if you sit on the ground to sit upon these are great. I use them for all kinds of stuff, especially painting drop cloths, but there are grommets on here that add to the weight, so I will cut it down to fit right there right here. I'll cut the grommets off so it slates, lays under my tent. So I'll put that with my backpacking gear. All right, what else did I find? Oh, I found some fun pet stuff. Here we go. I found for the boys, they finally came out with a different color of the bowls. And so I grabbed four of them in this blue. I love these bowls. I love these bowls. I love the size that the boys can get their face down in there and it's not affecting their whiskers. The rubber bottom keeps it from scooting across the floor and they they go right in my dishwasher and I needed a couple more cause I'm, I specifically have to run my dishwasher really before I'm ready so I will have clean cat bowls. I can hand wash them, but I prefer to sanitize them in the dishwasher. So I grabbed 
four in this blue color. So that'll get me another, did I grab five? Oh, I bought five. I thought I was buying four. No big deal. Um, but that gives me another day's worth because they get two in the morning and two at night. And I just stack them on my counter. And when I go to feed them, it holds enough wet food. You can put water in here, although this is a little small for water, but if you have little dogs as well, it's good. Or like gerbils or bunnies. I, well, I don't know if the bunnies will eat that, it's plastic. Hard to say. Okay, here is like the funnest thing ever that I found for the dogs. I have never seen this. Now, I, I guess I take that back. I've seen somebody else haul it once, never in a million years years thought I would see this at our store. What this does, if you don't have dogs, it's a ball launcher. So you hold it like this, this is a tennis ball, and you whip it, and it flies super far. So if you don't have a good arm, or if you're older or younger, and you really wanna launch a ball, these are great. This is flexible, and it really whips that ball far. And the dogs get to chase it. So I grabbed two. Um, one for my brother's dog and one for I think my coworker or my cousins. Although my cousin's dogs are super chewers and they will probably tear this ball up in 20 seconds flat. So there's that. They they're they chew things up. But they had them in all different colors. It's pretty decent pricing. I mean price, yeah, it's a dollar. Quality, I feel like. I mean, there's definitely and the heck, if you're playing with your kids and you got a little one that loves to chase the ball and get it, I'm just saying. Nobody's judging anybody who plays with a dog toy with their kids. If they like to run, you now have a good game of fetch with your toddlers or your grandkids. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I think these are fantastic. They make a great Christmas gift too. Maybe I'll hold them off and give them as Christmas presents to the pets because you know I, I do that. All right, we're getting down to the wire here, guys. Apparently, I bought less than I thought. Um, I found these socks in the men's section, which I think these are going to be perfect wintertime, like wear them around the house socks for me. Um, that's bacon and eggs. They had avocado they had beer i don't know if i can yeah i don't want to be doing that so you can see it better i didn't take the pokey thingies off but i will i didn't break anything told you i'll run the vacuum later there we go so i wear men's socks because they're wider and I have a wider foot. So I'll slide one on and tell you. And we go through this all the time. I wear a size, ow, a women's like eight and a half or a nine. I got my toe stuck. And these fit perfectly. Yeah, they fit my foot. Here, I'll show you. Here they come. They fit my foot perfectly. And I'm an eight and a half to a nine. And these were in the men's section. And they're nice. They're nice and soft. I would totally wear these. I mean, I don't wear a lot of socks in the summertime, but they're not tight at all. They don't squeeze my toes. So, yeah. I got a lint in my mouth. I like these. They had the avocados were black with green avocados. I just like this blue. They had, like I said, beer mugs couple other ones but I like the men's socks if you're asking me I will tell you I like the men's socks because I like a bigger sock or the women's 9 10 or 9 to 11 I like those as well I picked up another buff this one is for my backpacking camping gear um isn't that pretty I just think that is going to be perfect and I will tell you, I am going to put this on my camping pillow to make it softer for my face when I'm sleeping. So I'm not laying on plastic. But it's definitely big enough. I love Paisley. I just love it. I think it's perfect for summer. And if 
you are like me with shorter hair, you can cut this. This is not fray fabric. This is not gonna fray. I've taken these before and gotten like three headbands out of this by just cutting them. Scissors, cut straight lines, three or four, and then I just use them as, you know, for short hair headbands. This one is not for that purpose. And if I remember at the end, I'll blow up my pillow if I can find it. I don't think I have it. And you slide this over the pillow, the camp pillow. It stretches real nice and then it doesn't feel, you know, it feels like more like a pillowcase on your face. You can use it for your camping pillows or even your car pillows. You can get these and put them on, obviously for masks or whatever, but I just thought that was super fun fabric. So that goes in my backpacking container too. I haven't put it away yet because I need to do my tent and I need to spray the, the fabric with the, um, permethrin. I found these in the craft section. These are chip brushes and they're not, they're just cheapy little brushes, but they're nice and wide. So if you're doing any type of like touch up painting or blending or crafting and you want a big brush or you want to feather things, these are good for that. And my purpose, to be honest, is I had a leak in my bathroom and it stained my ceiling down here. And the plumber who came told me to paint it with some kills and then get white ceiling paint and feather it in so I don't have to paint my whole ceiling. So I'm gonna use these for that because they're nice and thin. And I think I can get a good like blend of the white. So I, again, I don't wanna have to paint my whole ceiling. So that's for the crafty. Then I found this, look at this barrette. Isn't that so pretty? Now I don't need that for a barrette. However, I could use it for a barrette. I'm gonna, I'm trying to figure out how to um, probably put a pin backing on it and use it as like a brooch or a design or a pin. Oh, I just don't need it for my hair, although I guess I could, but I won't. But I wanna do it in some kind of crafting, like somehow glue a, um, pin on the back so I can pin it to something fabric-y because I just love it. I just think it's fun. Even to like one of my craft bags, I could put a, you know, pin on it and attach it to a bag, a fabric. So I grabbed that. That's for me for some fun stuff. I found this and it's going to go in my refrigerator. The whole bag is magnet, but it's a weekly to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm gonna put my to-do list on here. Like Monday, I'm vacuuming the house. Or Tuesday, I'm mopping all the floors. I like to have a routine set up for my house for the week. I'll do this on Sunday. And I'll plan out my whole week through next Sunday. You know, like deep clean the bathrooms or wash the windows or whatever I plan to do for that week. Pop plants, get, you know, go shopping, whatever. And I was looking for something inexpensive that I could just put on my refrigerator that's all magnetic and I have the race the dry erase and then I can get more dry erase that's not a big deal but yeah I'm excited to see how that um that'll play out on my refrigerator so I thought that was a pretty good idea just trying to get organized you know um I grabbed some Weiler's iced tea because it's a favorite I love the peach iced tea mixes when I can find them and I was out. So I grabbed two of those. I drink a lot of that type of crystal light in the summer. It just helps me drink more water. It's like today I had 32 ounces of it at my desk because it was there and I brought up a glass of ice and I just filled the, poured it into my ice and drank it all day. Now this is something that I'm fairly excited about guys. First of all, do you see how big this is? It is as big as my head. It is not real um, quartz. Is that quartz it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be that stone. They had it in blue and gray, but I loved the purple. And it just sits. And it looks so realistic, but it, it is not a giant piece of crystal. It is a piece of wood with a base. Oh, I love it. And I just think sticking this on a shelf somewhere with some other things around it, it's just, 
it's a statement that doesn't cost a fortune. And I love it. I love this. And like I said, they had it in blue and gray. So, you know, you just want to make sure it's not scratched up. Yes, it's paper over some fake wood. But honestly, unless you're right up on it, you're not. And who cares if they do? I like it. I mean, think about this on a shelf with like some glasses in front of it or next to it with something, you know, some other organic materials. And I'm really getting into boho and I feel like that kind of fits that. So that's that. All right, I have a couple more things. Oh, oh, yay, I finally found these are the removable picture strips. So you, you get four sets. You stick one on the wall and one on the product, like picture frames, and they will stick. Now, I don't know if this is gonna ruin my wall or not, so I'll try to stick it to things I don't care if it ruins and try to pull it off and see. Or I could do it up in my bedroom wall. But yeah, these are like command hooks, but it's Velcro. It's great. I love it. I've been looking for these. I found them in white and black. I think two is sufficient. So that'll give us eight to hang up eight things or too large. And I would tell you on the command front, I have a frame hanging around my bathroom mirror that I have put on there years, two years ago now with command strips Velcro and it hasn't moved. So there's that. So I grab those because I need those in my life and I've been looking for them. And I found just a couple more things. This wind sock. We'll open it because I'm going to hang it outside. So during a storm, I lost my gnomes, <laughs> my little gnome sign. But I'm going to put up this on a hook for summertime. And it says, bless the USA. And it has the trailer. Now they also are the RV. They also had one with the red truck. And then you get your streamers that will blow in the wind. And I just thought this is perfect. And it has this little hook so it'll spin and not get all tangled up. And I'm super, super de duper excited about this. To when I decorate out front the rest. Okay, we have a problem, Houston. Um, there we go. There we go. And that'll hang right up in the middle and the sock just blows in the wind. I don't think I've ever seen wind socks at the Dollar Tree. And then this is like some plastic. So I will leave this out because I'm gonna take it outside. I think this weekend I'm going to do flowers. If I do, I will bring you along. All right, just a couple more things. I found if this is the ink by jaw and these are brush markers so when you do want to do fancy lettering and i love these for my journal and for planning and they had six colors we'll see how they work in january they're going in my planner box because i have markers right now but these have a marker tip or like a brush tip so you can write and do fancy lettering So I'm getting this thing kind of full, guys. And I haven't even ordered my planner yet for next year. We're getting close, though. It'll be out soon. All right. And the last couple things I got were for the kids, but I'm going to try them and see how they work. This one is My Mermaid DIY Rainbow Art. And I don't know... On a flat circus, fill the mermaid tray with your own rainbow art design. Press the crystals firmly into place. Slowly fill the tray with water until the crystals are submerged. And then I think you just wait and let it dry. So they're just like little crystal arts. I'll do it with you guys. So I got the mermaid and I got the unicorn. And these just look so fun. So I thought I would do a um, like a review of them. Show you how I do it and show you what it turns out like. I thought that would be kind of fun for a little extra video. So I grabbed two of these and each one comes with this one. I think they come with four or five colors of the sprinkles and then the tray. So we'll do a DIY with those. Um, 
And then the last thing I got, we're going to open them up, is unicorn dolls. And these are little blind bags, and you're looking for the gold one. <laughs> I just thought these were adorable. And they said, buy me, take me home. So I said, okay. Plus, they're fun to put on my desk. Oh, look at her. These are adorable. They don't smell. I was hoping she would smell. She's just a little doll. But she's a unicorn. Oh my gosh, I love her. And her name is Greta. So we have Greta. And when they come out of the packaging, they're wrapped. So these would be super fun. Stocking stuffers, guys. If you got little ones that like blind bags, you got to buy this stuff because if they only have a little bit out at a time. And this one is a winged doll. I don't know her name. Oh, and her name is Jessie, and she's got blonde hair, and she has little wings. Oh, I wish they had something to stand on, but oh my gosh, are those not adorable? I'm telling you, like these little things are great for summer, but if you've got, like in this case, a little girl, buy these up for stockings or just like a box of little trinkets that they get to open whenever they want at Christmas time. I just think it'll be fun, but that's me. All right, guys, that's everything. I've got a house full of mess here to deal with now, and I'm going to get a video together. Maybe one night this week, we will record this and I will do these for you and see what they how they turn out. So we'll do that. I will get all of this put away. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Bye.